pressure on them. Yeah. Put the pressure on them. Yeah. Two shots to the hip. That's what I call an extra bonus. Woo. What is good ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Penn and I am back with another video. So I got a question for you guys, right? Now, for some reason we have failed to hold Microsoft accountable for anything that they've really said over, you know, the last two years, right? So they, they, they came out and said that they were gonna have 4K uncompromised. Yeah, we saw what happened with that. They came out and they said that they were going to have high fidelity VR yeah they scrapped that uh they said that they were going to do a lot of shit that they've turned around and really have not made good on their promise now what i don't understand is we're focused on a whole bunch of dumb shit like fortnite crossplay and all of this good shit right but we're not focused on what should what they should be worried on what they should be worried about so xbox gamers are not worried about the fact that microsoft has lied to them numerous times on numerous occasions just go back and look at look at e3 2017 the, the video that that played right go ahead and look at um e3 2015 when they were showing minecraft and vr and shit like that right what happened to that why why is nobody up in arms up in rage why is nobody enraged about the fact that none of that shit has came to fruition right why is it the fact that when when a game actually does hit 4k on xbox it looks like sea of thieves i mean at what point is it to be held accountable at what point will xbox fans hold the xbox accountable right so I see a lot of people trying to hold Sony accountable for not wanting to do this crossplay bullshit, which of course we know we understand why Sony doesn't want to do this, right? We understand why they don't need to do it. They've cultivated a fan base of uh, over 80 million uh, players, right? And Microsoft has failed to even reach 40. You know what I'm saying? So the only way for them to survive in this climate is for them to merge with other fan bases. And the thing is, Nintendo seem to have taken the bait. The thing is, it works out for Nintendo because they don't have an online service. And if they're piggybacking off of Microsoft's Azure's, uh, Azure servers, right? If they made a deal on the back end that says, hey, for our online service, we wanna use your Azure servers and we need your help you know, to uh, build an online uh, marketplace, you know and in exchange for that you know we'll do this cross play shit with you that seems to be what nintendo has done at this point now me personally i'm not falling for the bullshit and i hope sony don't fall for the bullshit right all these people out here all of these fake ass gamers talking about some oh if you're not in 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 an uproar over this why in the hell do i want to play with xbox if i wanted to play with xbox fans or xbox users or xbox consumers guess what i would get a fucking xbox the simple fact that i don't need an xbox i don't own an xbox right now do i get mad when i can't play call of duty and and take my 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 stuff from call of duty over from one platform to the next hell to the fuck no why because i've become acclimated to the fact that that's not something that's going to fucking happen now the thing is i know the only way like i said the only way for xbox to survive is on their diehard fans the the fact of the matter is they're never going to offer any compelling software they're not going to offer anything that's exclusive that is to the level of what you see with god of war what you see with detroit become human or what you see with any of the uh playstation software that's coming out but at the same time they do want to piggyback off the fan base of the playstation users because that just gives their users a reason not to cross over right right that would give xbox fans who have become these shields right that just gives them further reason to not invest in a playstation okay if you don't invest in a playstation then why should you have uh access to playstation fans that's the one thing that i just don't understand Sony does not have any type of um, any type of reason to oblige to any of this shit about crossplay. You know what I'm saying? They are not in it to make Xbox consumers feel better. They're not in it to make Nintendo consumers feel better. They're not in it for any of that shit. So the simple fact that people think that as a business, they should allow things like this. I mean, why would you, why wouldn't you allow this in the real world? I mean, let's, let's talk about other businesses other than gaming. Do you think they offer cross 
uh, buy bullshit like this with their customers? Do you think if you go and buy something at Target, you'll be able to return it at Walmart? Do you think if you buy something at Walmart, you'll be able to return it at Best Buy? No. So why in the hell do you think something like that should happen in the gaming space? It shouldn't happen. It won't happen. I hope Sony don't cave to this bullshit. And Microsoft is just trying to get people to use their service. Once you start using their service and you become dependent on their service, guess what? Microsoft is forever embedded in your ecosystem. Sony doesn't want that. I honestly don't want that for Sony. Fuck anybody who feels like they should just be able to play with anybody on any fucking platform. It's never been that way. There's no reason for it to be this way. But what I do want to know is why you Xbox fans are not as up in arms about the fact that Microsoft has lied to you several fucking times, lied to you about VR, lied to you about everything, lied to you about 4K uncompromised, 60 frames per second, we can... I mean, come on, just go back and watch the video. I was going to play the video, but I don't even want to play the fucking video. It's the video where you have the developers who were actually talking on behalf of Microsoft in regards to their console, and they said a lot of shit. They said a lot of shit that was not true, that was not factual. So tell me this xbox fans why are you not upset about that why are you not upset about your fucking fortnite being behind a xbox live gold paywall why are you not upset about that but you're upset about playstation not cross playing with xbox and nintendo man you can go fuck yourself and that's from pin <laughs> pin from sick human tv y'all be easy i'm out deuces